Okay, I'm going to demonstrate how to put your monitor into your freestanding unit. I do. Um, this monitor has the top located on the top here, and you're just going to take the handles and set it up into the yeah. cabinet. two bars and I will uh, locate on the top of these which ones are which and um, there's a little groove on the back here that you're going to set those in. You put one side on here first, slip it over on the other side and push it to the right. You also notice there's going to be a little dowel pin that gets pushed in here. After you get them locked into place you push the dowel pin into the center here and that'll keep the bar from being able to be removed. As you can notice, you put these in correctly, there's no forcing of anything in here. It goes in super smooth. If you find that it's tight and you force something, you're doing it wrong. So stop and reassess what you're doing. If you force it too hard, it can be, I've had problems where they can bust the side of the cabinet out because someone forced it incorrectly. Yeah, just that, and if you notice, I'll show you real closely how the pins go in. Thanks, Kenny. Thank you. If you look on the side here, this bar slips into this side and back over into that side. Once you got that slipped over to the right, You'll notice this little dial pin. And now the dial pin slipped through there. Can't come out anymore. Um, if you need to, I will send you some shims to just push the slide in behind here. And what you can do is just take those shims if you need to and slip those in behind the monitor like that. That'll push the monitor forward if you need to to keep it tight. You can do that on top and bottom. It's pretty tight already, but sometimes that helps give it a little extra push to keep it tight on the front. As you can see on the front here, Your monitor's now in place, and there's a door that goes on the back, and I'll show you how that goes on. It has a cleat on the bottom here, which will drop into on the top, make sure it's turned sideways and close it. You need a little push if you need to, it keeps it nice and tight along there and your door's locked. Um, so now that cabinet's attached, you want to hook in your uh, data and all that obviously through the bottom and there's uh, plenty of room for that.